This troubleshooting video is going to focus on power line communication. The way power line communication or PLC works is that the MTU is actually sending a signal to the gateway through the power line. Once you have confirmed your MTU is installed in the panel and the LED on the MTU is blinking every second or so, we need to look for the main indicator for consistent power line carrier signal. In this case, it's the LED on the side of the gateway. It should be blinking every two to five seconds. If this is not the case, unplug the Ethernet cable from the gateway and then move the gateway to several other outlets to see if the LED on the side begins to blink steadily. This will confirm that the MTU is sending its signal and the gateway is set up properly. If you have an alternate location for the gateway where you do have a more consistent signal, this is the simplest solution to a PLC challenge. However, if you need the gateway in a particular location, such as right next to your internet router, here are some ways to isolate sources of interference and optimize the signal. Turn off any LED or CFL lighting in your home. Next, remove other electronics that are connected to the same circuit where you would like to connect the gateway and unplug any UPS backups that you have. All of these are possible sources for noise that can interfere with the power line carrier signal. If the LED on the gateway starts blinking consistently once you have unplugged a particular device, you should try to isolate the device. If you can't do this and you need the gateway and the device plugged into the same breaker, you can try purchasing one of our two filters to solve the problem. For more information on filters, you can check out our filters video.